I don't know how many of you were around when this was actually proposed to the Port of San Diego. <laughs> can, can you remember this? Can you imagine this being proposed in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, New York? Oops, I went too big. So we didn't get that, but we did get this. Uh, another piece of kitsch. The, port, the whole port committee uh, said no on this. The port commissioners went ahead and found the million or whatever dollars it was to bring it to us. It sits out there with the Bob Hope Memorial. Um, it's pretty hard to figure out what to do in San Diego. This was my heartbreak. This is Nancy Rubin's proposal for Harbor Drive. These series, this arch of boats coming, leaping over the uh, convention center as if the convention center was blocking them from the water. I think it would have been incredible. It went through the whole process, everything, everything, everything. And then the port commission at the last minute got weak need and turned it down. This is, um, Something at the Stewart Collection, obviously, Tim Hawkinson's bear. He had this great idea. He'd been inspired by the rocks and the landscape around here and the east and north. And he thought, well, let's make a, an animal out of rocks. So this is his uh, proposal drawing, which looks incredibly like the bear did in the end. We found the rocks, finally. It took us forever. It took us a year and a half. Had to find the torso first. Had to, we talked with uh, Pala India, we talked with ranchers, Boy Scouts, landowners out in the territory, and uh, finally the Pala Indians turned us on to it. They said, you can't take land, uh, rocks from our land, but you can take them from this old quarry. So here is the torso coming on to campus. It weighs 217,000 pounds. We then had to figure out how engineers find engineers who would do this. Nothing like this had ever done before, been done before, but everything has to be earthquake proof and really sound. So you can see, oh, well, you can't, anyway, there's a huge foundation under this. And this is the way we had two 300 ton cranes bringing this one to lift it up and then another one you can see to put the, the body into there. We had to wait for the buildings to be finished. Um, we had to, we worked with the landscape architect uh, to make sure that this would fit in with their uh, uh, concrete paths and other things that were going on. It was a pretty exciting moment. Um, there's Tim and his wife Claire, I mean his wife Patty and his daughter Claire. You can see the head coming on to the uh, bear, the final moment. We had broke some champagne and had uh, orange juice and uh, served it to lots of people who were out there for this grand final moment. Now, Bear has become a real campus character. Here it is in a crew outfit. It's gotten uh, heart-shaped glasses for Valentine's Day. It has gotten a cap and gown. It has gotten a medallion at um, New Year's saying Happy New Year and a bottle of champagne. Um, here it's got a scarf knitted by local women for Founders Day at UCSD. Um, those are the university colors, of course. And uh, it just is, uh, so a graduate student made a big bear trap out in front of it with a pot of, <laughs> with a pot of honey in the middle. Now this is the whole freshman class of just Warren College, but they've sort of taken over bear as their, they think it's their bear. And so every freshman class gets its picture taken around bear, um, <clears throat> which we think is quite cool. It's been projected on, it's uh, had people climb it. And here is the latest. This is Bear, uh, Barry Potter. <laughs> this, this was done by a class of, of engineers from the Jacobs School of Engineering. And every year they try to do something. And I, last year it was kind of boring. And I said, you better make it good this year. Because easy. this is the very beginning of Doho Sa's Fallen Star. You can see it's just a, a platform of wood. Um, Doho had this idea, he thought a lot, he's thought a lot about the idea of home and what happens when you leave your home and have to go to a whole new uh, neighborhood or a new school or a new something. It seemed like a good idea for a campus where everybody's come from, often from far away. And we, so we built the whole house. There's not a plumb line in it. It was very complicated. We had to get engineers again who would do this. Um, it's never been done before. Uh, and then we had to get permission 
from, you know, the dean of engineering. First of all, I always have to do the sort of backup. The dean of engineering was enthusiastic. And then, of course, it's the Jacobs School of Engineering. So I had to get the Jacobs on board. And then I had to raise all the money. Because the university pays my salary, but I have to raise every nickel for these works. There's Doho. This was like a dream come true for Doho. And we always try to fulfill the artist's vision um, without compromise. And we did that with Doho, and he was really, really thrilled. When the house was going up, he said to me, Mary, my heart is coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so, uh, and here is the inside. And you, go, you can go in. Um, it's, oh, we have long lines um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 2. We take people other times, lots of classes and other people. But it's a house. You know, it looks lived in. There are pictures of the deans of engineering on the mantelpiece. The lights come on at night. So it looks like somebody lives up there. And then there's a whole wall of family port portraits. But when you go in, you get really off balance. So you have to get your balance again, you know, find your, establish your relationship with your surroundings. And then I just wanted to say another uh, thing that, I, that we've been working on lately in La Jolla is this mural project. And that was Nina Cacciatorian's uh, whale that looks like it come up out of the ocean onto Prospect Street. And we've had a lot of fun. There was, I think there have been 13 so far. And the 14th is by Jean Lau and about to go up. And so I uh, think this has been a very successful project because it's had really good backers and leaders. And so that's what it takes. It takes a mayor with courage or, or somebody like Matt Brower who's convincing all these people in La Jolla who own the buildings to let these murals go on. So that's a short, short history. <laughs>